grad student, our Lester Dewey, is the one that talked with this update here. He's that grad student's accused of sending that profanity laced and somewhat threatening voicemail to a state senator last week. A nonpartisan free, uh, free speech organization is now getting involved in making some new commands to LSU's president when it comes to the grad student's discipline, or new demands rather. Lester Dewey is here with new reporting tonight. Lester. Yeah, guys, last week LSU officials said grad student Marcus Venable could still continue his studies at the university, but he could not teach anymore. And now one organization is coming to Venable's defense, saying he shouldn't be punished for expressing his First Amendment rights. Just a day after our report aired about an LSU graduate student who was caught allegedly sending a vulgar and somewhat threatening voicemail to a Louisiana state senator. It would seem he was angry over the lawmakers vote to ban sex change procedures for minors. The Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression sent a four page letter to LSU President William Tate saying the grad student's comments are protected by the First Amendment. On one page, the letter reads, LSU cannot punish Venable for his protected political speech. It accordingly must promptly correct its errors in the public record, especially if it wishes to avoid the continued chilling of strident political advocacy on campus. We simply say that this is a public university bound with the First Amendment, and they cannot punish their students um, for being mean to an elected official. And we discuss the true threat standard, how this expression issue doesn't fall into that category. We cannot play the voicemail because of specific FCC rules, not to mention it contains a lot of bad language. In one part, the caller calls State Senator Mike Fazy a big fat-headed mother and that he can't wait to read his name in the obituary and that he will make a martini from the tears of butthurt conservatives. This particular statement um, seems to fall pretty squarely on the line of political hyperbole and free speech uh, for a couple reasons. The first would be that um, it doesn't seem very specific or serious. We're not talking about somebody um, threatening to go to somebody's house and, and kill them. You guys are saying that the statement made by LSU saying he can no longer teach again went too far? Right. It's, it's chilling. Um, it, it deters other students who may want to express their views, the political views, from speaking out. I can look at a tree all day long. I can point at the tree and say, that's an elephant. But that doesn't make it an elephant. But legal analyst Franz Borkhardt disagrees that this voicemail is protected by the First Amendment. I believe there's sufficient argument that what he did, the manner in which he did it, an individual can be threatened by it. It is, it is above and beyond acceptable. And if that individual is threatened, then it's not protected speech in my mind. Are you guys prepared to go the legal route if y'all don't get a response? We'll see, we'll see. That's always, that's always an option that we can explore. I'm told the fire organization has been in contact with Venable. Meanwhile, state police say their investigation is still ongoing at this time. I did reach out to a spokesperson with LSU for a comment on this new letter, but have not heard back yet. Guys. All right. Thank you, Lester. Appreciate it. Hey, here's a lot of